Parts of the Gulf Coast are on alert this noon as Tropical Storm Karen inches closer to shore. Now, Karen is the 11th named storm of the Atlantic hurricane season, and it's threatening the southeastern U.S. Meteorologist Ed Blesworth is tracking that Tropical Storm Ed. Where is it now? And what if well, Tropical Storm Karen is now centered just north of the Yucatan Peninsula, but really it's the eastern flank of the storm that's really gotten its act together. Hurricane hunters have been flying in this system throughout the morning, and they found those winds necessary to call this a tropical storm. You can see some of the flight information here. 70 mile per hour winds at flight level there. You have 59 mile per hour winds, so this is certainly justified calling this system a tropical storm. Again, Tropical Storm Karen is the name. All right, let's take a look at the forecast track here. This is the latest update from the Hurricane Center. It is expected to roll off to the north, strengthen into a Category 1 hurricane, then weaken again before it makes a potential landfall anywhere from the Louisiana Gulf Coast all the way over towards Apalachicola, Florida. And speaking of that, that's where we have warnings and watches in effect here. We've got tropical storm watches in yellow for Morgan City, Louisiana to Grand Isle. Hurricane watches from Grand Isle all the way over to Indian Pass, Florida at this time. And our forecast model is calling for this system to generally head in that in that area. Really, the uh, Florida Panhandle could be at least the target area or the most favored area for a potential landfall, and this will likely be here sometime on Sunday as it gets swept up in that cold front. Now, as it tracks, it is expected to bring rain to our area, so those rain chances do increase for the second half of the weekend. We'll take a closer look at Karen and your full forecast in a few minutes. Barkley? Now, weather coverage you can count on. WJBF Live Viper 6. Welcome back. Our streak of nice weather does continue. Started off with sunshine this morning, and that's all we're expecting. Just a few passing clouds as we go on through the afternoon here. Your highs will warm up to around uh, 90 degrees. I think we'll top off just under that 90 degree mark. Some of you may briefly hit that, but once we go past sunset, those temperatures fall very quickly through the 70s, and we'll be near 65 by midnight tonight. Right now, we're already into the low 80s out at Augusta Regional Airport. Sunshine in 82. Down in Swainsboro, sunny skies and 70. 79 degrees right now. You've got 79 as well uh, for you folks watching us in Thompson, Gibson, Crawfordville, 81 now for McCormick, 80 in Edgefield, a little bit cooler in Allendale. You're checking in at 74 degrees right now, and you're going to find a lot of 70s and 80s over Georgia and South Carolina. Our uh, pattern's starting to change a bit. Got a little bit more high cloud cover rolling in, and our wind direction is starting to become more southeasterly. So you're going to notice going to be a little bit warmer here and also going to be a little bit more humid by the time we hit the end of the week. Now we've got a couple features we're keeping our eyes on. We've got a cold front middle part of the country that should help to affect our forecast uh, by the, the latter portion of the weekend. The other system that will certainly have an impact on that is this. This is a look at what is now tropical storm Karen here, a large blow up of convection of deep thunderstorm activity. In fact, let's go ahead and jump over to live Viper six and we'll get a closer look at tropical storm Karen. This is the visible satellite imagery and really gives us a very good and detailed picture of the structure of the storm. Again, you can see a lot of this cloud cover here, but we zoom in a little bit closer. Here are the thicker clouds, but that's the center of circulation, somewhat exposed. So it's not a very well put together tropical storm right now, but the winds are certainly strong enough to classify this as a tropical system. In fact, winds are now up to 65 miles per hour. Let's take a look at the forecast track here from the Hurricane Center. It's going to roll off to the north and eventually strengthen at least we think to a category one hurricane before it weakens again back to a tropical storm. And then it is expected to make a landfall somewhere along the northern Gulf Coast, Louisiana, all the way back to Florida, uh, going to be uh, under the threat for a potentially landfalling tropical system. Looks like that's going to occur late Sunday and into early Monday. In the meantime, though, locally we're talking about some nice weather. It looks like we'll stay dry for the end of the week with just a few passing clouds overhead. Great outdoor weather, but watch what happens here. Saturday and into Sunday, clouds increase, and then here comes Karen, as it is expected to roll into Georgia and South Carolina. Right now, the model keeps the heaviest weather off to our west, but again, a movement to the west or to the east, a little bit of a jog, will have a huge impact on your forecast in terms of how much rain we're going to get late Sunday and into Monday. Right now, your rain chances will hold at 40 to 50 percent during that time period. We're going to certainly keep our eyes on that. But in the meantime, get outdoors, enjoy some unseasonably warm weather here. Upper 80s today, Friday and Saturday before that rain moves in Sunday and Monday. Of course, we're going to be keeping a very close eye on Karen as it rolls through the Gulf of Mexico. Guys. And we depend on that. Thanks, Ed. Yep.